You are listening to the Adult Sabbath School Lessons for the third quarter of 2022. This is lesson number five of the Adult Sabbath School Bible Study Guide in the Crucible with Christ. This lesson is titled Extreme Heat and is ready for teaching on July 30. The author is Pastor Gavin Anthony, who was conference president in Iceland when he wrote this series of lessons. Today, your lesson is read by Dr. Percy Harold. Tuesday, July 26. Surviving Through Worship. Read Job chapter 1, verses 6, through to chapter 2, verse 10. What caused Job's suffering? Job 1, beginning at verse 6, Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came among them. And the Lord said to Satan, From where do you come? So Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro on the earth, and from walking back and forth on it. Then the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job, that there is none like him on the earth, a blameless and upright man, one who fears God and shuns evil? So Satan answered the Lord and said, Does Job fear God for nothing? Have you not made a hedge around him, around his household, and around all that he has on every side? You have blessed the work of his hands, and his possessions have increased in the land. But now stretch out your hand and touch all that he has, and he will surely curse you to your face. And the Lord said to Satan, Behold, all that he has is in your power, only do not lay a hand on his person. So Satan went out from the presence of the Lord. Now there was a day when his sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in their oldest brother's house. And a messenger came to Job and said, The oxen were ploughing and the donkeys feeding beside them when the Sabaeans raided them and took them away. Indeed, they have killed the servants with the edge of the sword, and I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was still speaking, another also came and said, The fire of God fell from heaven and burned up the sheep and the servants and consumed them, and I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was still speaking, another also came and said, The Chaldeans formed three bands, raided the camels and took them away, yes, and killed the servants with the edge of the sword, and I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was still speaking, another also came and said, Your sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in their oldest brother's house, and suddenly a great wind came from across the wilderness and struck the four corners of the house, and it fell on the young people. And they are dead, and I alone have escaped to tell you. Then Job arose, tore his robe, and shaved his head, and fell to the ground and worshipped. And he said, Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked shall I return there. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In all this Job did not sin, nor charge God with wrong. Again there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them to present himself before the Lord. And the Lord said to Satan, From where do you come? Satan answered and the Lord and said, From going to and fro on the earth, and from walking back and forth on it. Then the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job, that there is none like him on the earth, a blameless and upright man, one who fears God and shuns evil, and still he holds fast to his integrity? Although you incited me against him, to destroy him without cause. So Satan answered the Lord and said, Skin for skin, yes, all that a man has he will give for his life. But stretch out your hand now and touch his bone and his flesh, and he will surely curse you to your face. And the Lord said to Satan, Behold, he is in your hand, but spare his life. So Satan went out from the presence of the Lord and struck Job with painful boils from the sole of his foot to the crown of his head. And he took for himself a potsherd with which to scrape himself while he sat in the midst of the ashes. Then his wife said to him, Do you still hold fast to your integrity? Curse God and die. But he said to her, You speak as one of the foolish women speaks. Shall we indeed accept good from God, and shall we not accept adversity? In all this Job did not sin with his lips. There's something astonishing here. The angels come to see God, and Satan comes with them. 
God asks Satan where he has been, and Satan replies that he has been roaming throughout the earth, going back and forth on it. Then God poses this question, Have you considered my servant Job? The question itself is not remarkable. What is remarkable is the one who asks it. It isn't Satan who points out Job as a subject for examination, it's God. Knowing exactly what is going to follow, God calls Job to Satan's attention. Down on the earth, Job has absolutely no idea how hot his crucible is about to become. And though it's very clear that it is Satan, not God, who causes Job suffering, it also is clear that it is God who gives his explicit permission for Satan to destroy Job's possessions, children, and his own physical health. If God is giving permission for Job to suffer, what difference does it make whether God or Satan is personally inflicting the suffering? How can God be righteous and holy when he actively allows Satan to cause Job such pain? Is this situation a special case, or is it characteristic of the way God still deals with us today? In Job 1 verses 20 and 21, how does Job respond to the trials? Verse 20, Then Job arose, tore his robe, and shaved his head, and he fell to the ground and worshipped. And he said, Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked shall I return there. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It is possible to respond to such sufferings in two ways. We can become bitter, and angry, turning our backs on a God we believe to be cruel or non-existent, or we can hang on to God more tightly. Job deals with his catastrophe by staying in God's presence and worshipping him. In Job 1 verses 20 and 21, which we've just read, we see three aspects of worship that may help when in anguish. First, Job accepts his helplessness and recognises that he has no claim to anything. Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked I will depart. Second, Job acknowledges that God is still in total control. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Third, Job concludes by reasserting his belief in the righteousness of God. May the name of the Lord be praised, he said. And so to finish today, going through a trial? Follow the steps that Job used. How might they help you as well? This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind. Sponsored by the Sabbath School Department and distributed through Hope Channel Australia, this podcast is also redistributed by Hope Channel Germany, Christian Record Services for the Blind. It is also available on SoundCloud and through multiple podcast distributors, including Apple iTunes. And you can listen and watch at the same time on YouTube. Remember, God is always faithful.